Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome back to Inside the Hem, where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This holiday season, I am bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing, where every day we are exploring a new sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. So whether you are going for cozy or chic or glam, you can join me each day as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's festive project, which is a tool skirt. So I know tool skirts have sort of had their moment. And if I'm honest, I didn't really love them the first time around. Remember when we all styled them with button down shirts and then those huge chunky like bubble necklaces? Oh boy. But these days tool skirts are a lot less frou-frou and a little bit more refined and elegant than what I used to see. And like them or not, they are actually pretty perfect for a holiday event. Cutting and gathering tool layers does take time, but makes a big impact. A flowy, elegant tool skirt in festive colors can lean vintage glam with a 50s inspired high-waisted silhouette, but can also be dreamy and flowy, which is ideal for a romantic holiday look. Let's take a look at the ready-to-wear inspiration I found to see how we can achieve either of these styles for the holidays. Okay, so this is the modern tool skirt that I am envisioning. This is from a little boutique called Chic Wish. You might see their ads on Instagram from now and again, but this is their festive sparkle ombre tool midi skirt in burgundy. And obviously, the ombre is the real standout here. So the tool itself is ombre dyed starting from darker. Um, this one happens to be burgundy down to like a lighter pink. Um, it is gathered into an elastic waistband and then you can see the lining under here as well. The lining appears to be a, a color matching the darker part of the skirt. And then there are two layers of tool over top of that lining. The tool itself does have a little bit of embellish embellishment to it. It has a little bit of like a sparkle, like a hint of sparkle on it, which I think really just adds to the, you know, festiveness of it. So in these photos, you can see the sparkle a little bit better, right? Just every so often little glittery dots. Here is a close up of the elastic waistband, a very, very simple way to sew up a tool skirt. It's not how we're going to be doing it because we're going for something a little bit more refined, but you could easily, easily um, make this version of it uh, probably in a couple of hours. But there's another close up of the tool. And I really liked this view because it allowed you to see the two layers of tool. Can you see how there's a layer right there and another layer that hangs a little bit lower? Okay, so for our pattern, we are gonna be using McCall's 8150. Um, this pattern is an elastic waist skirt and it has three tiers to it. So if you're putting things together in your mind, you can kind of see where we're going here. So the vision is to elongate two of these tiers to be the same length. Those will be your tool tiers. And then this tier here will be your lining tier. And so you will just shorten it to be an inch or so shorter than the tool. But you have all three layers here already ready to go for the skirt. It's also not gathered, which I think is interesting. So they're more of circle skirts, um, which I think is gonna be a little bit more beautiful and full when it comes to the tool, um, but if you just want to cut rectangles and do the gathering, you could easily do that as well. This is just a little bit more of a polished look. Um, we're not gonna be adding the ruffles. There's also a four tier version, which we don't really need. We only need the three tiers, but you can kind of see how that would become our tool skirt, right? Layer one, tool, layer two, tool, layer three is your lining there. All right, so a little bit more information about this pattern is they are recommending for fabrics, cotton blends, lawn and taffeta, and then also a lining fabric. Clearly we're going a completely different direction with ours. So 
But if you buy this pattern and you want to make it up to look something like this for a future version, by all means, these would all be great. You could even go with your, you know, really silky fabrics. You could do um, rayons, you know, all of that good stuff as well. So this is size 6 through 24. We are going to be doing technically view B, but you're not going to need this much of the tool or the um, lining. So yeah, you get one and three eighths or whatever this line says. Yeah, one and three eighths um, for your lining and then maybe like a two thirds of this for your um for your tool layers because the way that they have designed this and you can tell mostly by view c if we look at view c it needs five and three eighths yards that's how you know that each of these layers is self fabric there's nothing else going on it's just the self fabric layered on top of itself so that's what we need for our skirt it's just the quantities are going to be a little bit different so they're giving us the measurement at the hip line i don't know that that's fully necessary but this is also an example where they give us that but not body measurements so it's not that helpful anyways but you're going to start i mean i guess not a terrible idea to start at your hip um and then use the elastic at the waist to to bring it in however you need it to fit at the waist but the most important thing here is that it sits at your weight at your natural waistline i think that's what's going to make it look the most flattering it should have a bit of a ballerina esque quality to it okay so now you guys are dying to know where in the world am i going to get ombre tool well look no further than joanne believe it or not iridescent glitter ombre red netting fabric i mean that's pretty much exactly it right um they have here the colors so this one goes from like a little like almost like nudie pink to this kind of more like brick red which i actually think is really quite nice um because it's not so obviously christmas like you could even wear it i don't know on a date or for valentine's day um even toward the spring i don't know i feel like you could really use this a number of occasions and it wouldn't always just look like oh she got out her christmas skirt again <laughs> um but there's the two colors next to each other and here it is on the bolt so you can get an idea of what multiple layers of it looks like but yeah, that's pretty perfect, right? And right now it's $4 a yard, so buy it up. And I think that, yeah, they're 60 inches wide too. So go ahead and grab your two or three yards of that um, at that really great price, and you can make a skirt really affordably. For the lining, I did find for this particular ombre, this silky, satin, dusty pink fabric. I'm not convinced that this is the right color. Um, there's also this red one. I, I would like to go in and see them in person and layer them on top of each other so that I know exactly what I'm going to get and make sure that the reds of the the reds of the fabrics kind of match up. But I think either one of these could work. Um, if I kind of flip back and forth, you can see how that could be the brick red area of our tool, right? Okay, so there's that. Yeah, either one of them I think could probably could probably work. Um, especially remember you're using it as a lining underneath, so it should not it should blend in pretty good, but it doesn't have to be an exact perfect match. Um, okay, so those are your two lining fabrics. Oh, I also want to point out that we're not going to be doing the elastic, the elastic band, the visible elastic band. You can do that. You can take this fabric and cut out you know, two rectangles that are at the length from your waist to your knee, um, maybe like double your hip measurement and you can gather those with a lining into, um, you know, a little circle and then add the, where did it go? And then add the elastic band to it. There's a million tutorials online for how to do that as well. It's really, really easy. I just think it's a little bit more clean if you did it our way with this pattern right where you did the circle skirts you covered the elastic maybe you use like the lining part for the elastic i don't know i just kind of think that the black it looks it's cheap right it looks a little cheap it feels a little cheap I mean, it's not the most beautiful look in my mind but um if you do it this way and you use this at the lining or you even um do an, a layer of lining and tool uh, for your waistband and then make these circle skirts. I don't know. It kind of elevates it just a little bit 
in my mind. Oh, what do you think? Have I convinced you that tulle skirts can be modern and beautiful for the holidays? Thanks for joining me for today's festive frock project. I hope it sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be creating a knit top inspired by the one in the tool skirt inspiration photos from today. I cannot wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion sewing. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.